Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman back again with a follow-up on the Ouya. I had a little bit more time to play with it from my last review, and I also uh, got some responses from all of you in the comments, and they've been great, so keep those coming. So we're going to take a look at three things today. We're going to look at MAME and see how the performance is on a Neo Geo game to really see how this thing's going to do with emulation in the future. We're going to take a look at XBMC now that I've got the external storage component working on there. And we're also going to look at OnLive, which is a, a streaming gaming provider. So without further ado, uh, let's dive into it and see what we got here. Now I've got to pair my controller up once more, and uh, thankfully I don't have to pair it up each time. Um, but if you don't turn the controller on first, you get that screen and it gets a little confusing. Now I just put on the latest update uh, for the Ouya, so um, didn't really change all that much. Um, the good news is when I go into this make menu, I no longer have to deal with uh, the warning message about how I shouldn't be in there. Uh, so let's, uh, let's take a look here. Maybe we'll do XBMC first. And uh, now the USB port on this thing is disabled for the Ouya stuff, the software that Ouya has, but it does work for other things. So um, what I've done is I've added um, on my video uh, thing here, I have added the USB thing offline and I'll show you how to get to there in a minute. Um, but I can go in here and play this. Uh, this is a MKV file, but this is essentially a Blu-ray video. It's the same bit rate um, and all that kind of stuff. And as you can see, the Ouya keeps up with it pretty well. I, I would actually expect it to. It's, uh, it's got a lot more horsepower than a Raspberry Pi, and uh, it's able to do that. This is a 40 megabit per second uh, MKV file, and it looks pretty good. This is a, kind of a lousy television I'm playing it on, but if you have you know, some Blu-ray uh, video files that you've legally uh, transferred to a disk of some kind, it'll work. I should add, though, that the Ouya cannot power a hard drive through its USB port, so you're going to need to get one of those uh, larger hard drives that have an external power supply uh, in order to get it to work, so just bear that in mind. Uh, now we're going to hit our double tap our menu here and get out of there. We're going to go back to make into our installed software. Now the uh, USB drive will show up in your uh, file system. So if I go into here now, when I initially run, this is the I forgot the name of this thing. This is the Astro File Manager Pro. Uh, when you go in there, you're going to have to navigate around a little bit, uh, find your MNT directory, and you go into USB drive. And that is where those files are. So you can see that's the video file we just played. So um, that is where uh, your USB will show up for any application that's not an OUYA application. So for some reason, they still haven't gotten that USB thing working, um, which is going to be a problem because the, this thing does not have a lot of onboard storage. It only has uh, 8 gigabytes of onboard storage. So let's uh, take a look now at OnLive. Now, OnLive is a streaming gaming platform. So you're running a game on a computer located somewhere else on the internet. It's in some big data center. Uh, it's actually pretty impressive how well it works. And I've, I've played with it on my Mac. And uh, as you can see, we are able to get into it. Now, this is not a, a native Ouya app. We're down, we downloaded, once again, one of those APK files, which are uh, essentially Android software packages that I found on the web, downloaded that file, moved it over via the USB to the Ouya, and installed it. So we're running an Android app that is the OnLive application. So um, we're going to click Done here. We're just going to pop into their marketplace. And this is, again, this is a totally separate ecosystem from uh, the Ouya ecosystem. And as you can see, I'm still having this issue with my button sticking. In fact, it's getting worse. Um, now the A button and the O button are sticking. So this controller is, is the only way to put it is it's crap. Um, so we'll load up Dirt 3. I was looking at this before, and uh, OnLive gives you some free trials and stuff. So unfortunately, you've got to get through a whole bunch of menus in order to actually see anything. Um, I would imagine the streaming will work a little bit better if we had the uh, device plugged in through the Ethernet. Right now, we're just going wireless, but my, um, my access point is pretty pretty close by here. So um, basically, what's going to happen is it's going to connect to the OnLive server, and we're going to... Um, essentially play a PC game or a OnLive game that was uh, written for the OnLive system uh, over the internet and stream it to the device. So uh, we're going to take a little break here while it's loading and we'll come right back. Okay, we finally got through all the menus here to get into this game and there's like this, uh, this annoying process that you have to go through in order just to play a game in this uh, dirt game here. But we'll just go do a quick uh, single race here and um, it, you know, it's, it's relatively responsive. I mean, I still feel like the controller has some lag to it. And I, I don't know if it's my lousy television that's doing some video conversion or if it's just that this thing has really got some problems still. But um, we're going to just go through. I don't know how to start the race here. Uh, we'll just hit that. 
and we'll let this thing and there's so many menus in this game i probably should have picked a better one here but we'll just get through all this and we'll get into the game now the good news is the controller works in fact the uh the the, the buttons at the top here work for the acceleration and um, overall, it actually looks really cool. Um, this is loading, but it's loading somewhere else. I'm not sure where the OnLive servers are located that we're connected to, but um, this is essentially streaming over the internet to this box. So again, we're not playing this on the Ouya per se. The Ouya is streaming uh, video from the OnLive server, and we'll just wait for it to load in the data center. And here we go, we're in Aspen. And this is actually a pretty good looking game. And, and I think there is some potential here. Now, OnLive actually sells a console themselves, which costs the same as the Ouya. So you could get the OnLive console and skip the Ouya altogether. <laughs> It'll actually work better. Um, so we'll do a quick race here and you can get a sense uh, as to how this works. This, is, this game, Dirt, is like, it takes forever to actually get into the game. Um, it, it is a little pixelated. It's hard to see on your screen. Um, but I think it's due to the fact that I'm on wireless and OnLive really recommends connecting to the Ethernet. I just don't have a way to get Ethernet over here very easily, so, um, but I think it would, it would work pretty well. But as you can see, it's, you know, it's playable. Again, there's some delay in the, in the controller, so uh, I don't know if it's my TV or if it's the OnLive thing not really designed for the Ouya or what, but um, nevertheless, you can run OnLive and it'll work uh, fairly well. So let's get out of there real quick. And the last thing we'll take a look at is some emulation. And uh, last time I didn't have the right MAME ROMs loaded in, but I finally got everything working there. So I wanted to show that to you. And we're going to load up MAME for Droid. And we're going to load up Metal Slug 3. Now this game is you know, about 13 years old, but uh, it really pushes emulation hardware pretty far because it is a fairly advanced game for its day. It's one of the best Neo Geo games ever made. Um, and as you can see here, we've got some of these controls, touch controls on the screen, uh, because we are again running an Android app. We're not running a native Ouya app to do the emulation here. Um, so it, I haven't been able to get rid of this stuff. I think there's a setting to do that. Now this um, green junk you see here is actually normal. Now in order to put the coin in, I have to uh, use our, remember we have our mouse control here. So I'll hit that and put that in there and we'll get started. Um, so overall, I mean, this is definitely needs some work. The, the colors are still messed up. And I think it's, again, we're, we're running an Android app on a, on a television console. However, what this does show is that the Ouya has some horsepower. And I have, uh, I've played um, Metal Slug in a whole bunch of different varieties here. This is um, the actual Neo Geo Arcade version. And it runs like really smoothly. In fact, I have this on the iPad also. And uh, I have the iPad uh, 3, I guess, the, the Retina display one, the first version. And it, it works, but doesn't really run as smoothly as it does on the Ouya. So I think, you know, the Ouya has got the horsepower to be a really, really cool emulation station. Um, but we just need to get the software in place in order for this thing really to take off. So my review from before kind of stands in that uh, I, I, I just don't see this thing being worth $100 right now. I think it's got some potential, especially as like the quintessential emulation station provided the software is developed for it. And right now, no one's really jumping to do that. There are some emulators on the Ouya store. However, they're not really that great. The MUA, which I showed in my last review, uh, the colors are off. The control is really laggy. Um, it just doesn't do it for me. There is a, a SNES emulator. I think SNES 9X is out now for it also. So we're going to start seeing some emulation software come in, but the controller is bad. The, the, again, the colors and everything else are just kind of messed up. And overall, I'm just not too crazy about it. And I would say, wait, let's see what develops here, if the thing can really turn into something more. Uh, and in the meantime, I would continue using uh, your PC as your uh, emulation station if you have one. Uh, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching my follow-up review. I'm happy to do more with this. In fact, I could even do like a hangout one night or something if you're interested. So keep posting those questions and comments, and I'll uh, do some follow-up reviews. Thanks again. Thank you.